a photographer with a broken leg who has nothing to do with his life but look out a window. The Princess of Monaco, who somehow cares his one-legged bum in her spare time after her long days of cocktails and fashion meetings. I mean, we were all thinking it. How's a guy like Jeff end up with a girl like Lisa? They say opposites attract, but it seems that not even Lisa's beauty can get Jeff to say one flattering thing about her or her efforts. She's too beautiful, too talented, too sophisticated. She's too everything, but what he wants. Well, we all see she's out of his league, but he somehow doesn't seem to care. Well, in his talk with Stella, he said he wants a woman who will go anywhere and do anything and like it. Seems a little demanding for a guy with only one working leg. Out the window, we can see all of Jeff's neighbors, many of them women, some that are lonely, some that are nagging, and some that are chaste. Basically, all the stereotypes where women's lives revolve around men. The most notable of them all is a salesman, whom we see dealing with his wife yelling at him all the time. After a night of Jeff blowing Lisa's feelings off, he conveniently wakes up to a scream and glass breaking. The universal sound for murder, apparently. He hooks Lisa into his conspiracy when they see the most careless murderer of all time, roping up a human-sized trunk and showing a furrowed mattress through the open window. Jeff eventually calls his detective friend to get his opinion, and he's frankly no help. In addition to his typical cop attitude, he oddly stares at women objectively, especially Lisa, and we also see him staring at Miss Torso at a separate occasion. We see Lisa's always looking pretty hot, to be honest. Her hair is always perfect, makeup always intact, and she's always wearing the most fashionable and flattering outfits. This type of beauty is one that our book discusses, where women have been expected to be subject to the male gaze through the fashion industry, dieting, etc. And this male gaze is exemplified in the movie through men's reactions to her. Stella eventually joins the two in spying. They come up with a surprisingly impressive plan by getting the salesman out of the apartment in order to search the garden. Once Stella enters, elements of the Bechdel test can be examined. The movie does feature two women who talk to each other, but sadly Stella and Lisa do not talk about anything besides a man. It seems as though their purpose in this movie was to help Jeff, but without them, would any of the movie had been possible? Jeff literally could not move out of his wheelchair nor his apartment. His male cop friend was no help either, so without them, the murder would have never been solved. After they found nothing in the garden, Lisa takes matters into her own hands and breaks into the salesman's apartment minutes before his return. What could possibly go wrong? Of course the salesman returns home to find Lisa, but Jeff had already conveniently called the police. Lisa was able to escape with the ring, but it seems as though the salesman had spotted Jeff. The salesman is on the move. Jeff does not have his women to protect him. Imagine that. Whereas Lisa apparently was defenseless and couldn't withstand the salesman, Jeff is able to fend him off with flashes. The fight does start to get more intense as the salesman drapes Jeff over the ledge, but the police cushions his overly dramatic fall. As the movie comes to a close, we see that Jeff seemingly is more affectionate towards Lisa, but this is most likely because she tried to be the girl that he wanted. We see that Jeff is never truly satisfied or happy with who Lisa is and only shows signs of admiration when she is doing something adventurous or showing interest in things that interest Jeff. Whenever Lisa's interests are discussed, he showed contempt and made fun of her. In the last scene, Jeff is still broken and reliant while Lisa has changed her whole style to fit Jeff's life. Still, Jeff needs Lisa more than she needs him, but yet it is Lisa who has changed.